it's funny when I'm when I'm asked if I'm asked to share and then I'm kind of sat waiting to share and of course I have all these thoughts about oh maybe I'll share about this and that and then kind of knowing that when I actually sit here I will have forgotten all of that <clears throat> and the question for me really is what what's the most beneficial thing for me to communicate and share with you all um, and in all honesty the most beneficial thing is is really is, is something that's completely unplanned as well so um, the reality for me is that I now live uh, a life which is very easy and very relaxed it's quite intense at times and that's partly due to the choices I make in my life um, but it's really the case that all I've done for just over three years is show up in a very kind of simple way to balance few meetings and rely on on the four mainstays so that's going to trainings that's being in touch with my trainer that's being around the community it's doing service it's um uh what else is there there's oh short moments yeah um they were never my favorite um but really all i've done is basically is simply just follow the simple instructions and I, I really do just have a life now which I'm just I'm content with it's like and it does just get easier and, and more relaxed and more enjoyable and um, and there's a really a stark contrast I can't really remember what what my life was like just over three years ago when I first did the 12 empowerments but I can tell you that I was I was uh, intensely depressed and had spent about 10 years seeking in I mean you name it and I've probably done it in some way, in, in, in some capacity and uh, spent huge amounts of money um, on kind of trying to basically fix this sense of total discomfort that I experienced uh, it's what Candice calls existential despair and for me this was basically just just an, whenever I kind of checked in with myself I basically didn't like what I experienced and this basically just meant that I would f kind of feverishly search for something to make me feel better and yeah and now I feel better it's, <laughs> you know and it's really but it, it and it's so simple because all I did was just show up here and I remember when I did the 12 empowerments I remember looking at one of the the trainers and thinking wow when when I've been you know when I've been involved with this training and taking these short moments for as long as he has wow I imagine how it will be then and then like you know maybe a year and a half later I remembered that and I was like oh okay oh, I imagine how it will be you know I'm kind of and it was very there was a lot of power in it when I first had that thought and then when I had it again I realized it was I still had it a little bit like oh I wonder what it will be like in a year and then now it's really like I see that there's really there's not this this framework of information it means nothing to me anymore it's like this is how it is and it's okay for me and I see that just by by uh, yeah just by keeping it really keeping my life simple and um, yeah, and just being really open actually, open-hearted disposition, this is something which is uh, a really good thing for me to, to, uh, to remember. Yeah, that, yeah, it's easy. And maybe I just say a little bit about, about the kitchen here. I'm involved with the production of the, the lunch meal that we have each day. And it's just the most amazing opportunity and environment for me to work in and to serve in. It, it's it's like it is my training ground it's like I'm currently not participating in 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 the in the actual training that's my training and it's amazing it's like it's the ultimate training for me it's so practical as well and I have the opportunity to to serve and work with with the most amazing people and together to it's just it's just the most empowering uh, opportunity and um yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't know what to say about it other than it's like I couldn't wish for a, a more enjoyable and empowering opportunity that I have than I have serving in the kitchen here. So thank you all for being here and for coming with uh, 
hungry bellies as well, <laughs> so that we can fill them. <laughs> um, and also a big thank you to you, Imbal. I mean, really, like what, what, what you see when, when you're sat there, what you see in the trainers when they're sat here, it's, it's, it's more than genuine. It's like the, the way I feel supported, like lots of things have come up for me since I've been here. When I arrived in, in India, now I developed some kind of nerve problem in my arm. And so I was had my arm in a sling and I wasn't really able to do very much. And, and I, there was all this kind of ideas of, ah, but I'm meant to be doing this and I'm not able to do it and who's going to do it? And all I got at any point from any trainer and actually anybody who I was, anybody in the community, was just support. It was just care. You know, and, and there's never been a time that I've gone to Imbal with sometimes I'm a little bit heated and, you know, but there's never been a time when, when I go there where I haven't just been met with complete unconditional love and support. Regardless of how many million things she's trying to do and she's about to, you know, hold a training in five minutes and she's got a queue of people needing to talk to her and it's like there's just, there's just total open-hearted support there. I mean, that's just amazing. So... Uh, yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone.